look at what a command center life cycle management looks like. It starts with a discovery, and, and this discovery is completely different in a modern IT from the old traditional IT, where um, this is a dynamic discovery as the resources and applications are getting spun in the, in the enterprise. Those resources need to be discovered dynamically uh, with all the credentials that are required to bring them into a lightweight CMDB, right? So a very big um, uh, analogy there is the traditional discovery and warranty-driven asset management, while that plays a role, the new age uh, modern IT calls for a completely different level of discovery and a completely different level of demand on the CMDB. The warranties and the maintenance on the modern IT elements are completely different from traditional IT elements. Uh, monitoring, being able to kind of uh, put policies uh, that are applied on the infrastructure and application that will bring application and services-centric uh, ability to bring the dashboard. Uh, an example of that is, let's say a modern IT enterprise is doing container framework using Docker and they're containerizing some of their applications into microservices, how would one discover these new years container-centric um, microservices? And how do I decompose those microservices in an automated way um, while the development groups are thinking about it? The operations groups need to think about how do I bring those microservices and create a macro service and an application that is composed of those microservices and do uh, proper monitoring at each level to make the application service dashboard come together, right? So the monitoring, while the fundamentals of monitoring remain the same, the framework with which that is applied in the modern IT will be different. It is all policy driven, and we'll talk about during the demo how those policies work. The alert management and being able to take the events and alerts coming from applications and infrastructure elements into a single framework where that framework allows policies again to drive how a, a, an event gets managed. So uh, in, in many cases, not all events get created into incidents just like any other um, traditional IT elements, but in modern IT with, where uh, a command center is operating, the the alerts and events, the automation around those alerts and events that really creates into an incident is an order of magnitude much more um, automation driven, application driven before it gets created into an incident. So the policies will drive on how those alerts and events get created into an incident and, and, and the incident gets created only when in a predetermined operating procedures and a predetermined automation scripts that can self-remediate those events does not succeed. Again, you know, when, when a policy is created into an incident, and during the demo, I will show how the uh, alert to incident policies work and what kind of uh, notifications and SLA-driven mechanisms exist uh, in command center that will allow the command center to escalate to various people based on SLAs in the entire enterprise. And, and that needs to integrate ultimately into a, an existing enterprise's ITSM system, be it uh, a matured ITL, ITL-driven ITSM system or a new age ITSM system, it does not matter. But at the end of the day, once the policies determine that the SLAs um, uh, exceeded and notifications took place, the life cycle of that incident to con convert into a change and a, uh, and a problem management that happens in the traditional ITSM systems, that integration needs to come into enterprise command center. And, and, and during the demo, those policies, you will see how those policies will trigger an incident or a problem or a change in the traditional ITSM system. In the, in the command center, one of the things that needs to happen is because there are different groups uh, from infrastructure, 
centric IT teams as well as application centric uh, management teams as well as external service providers that are coming and playing into the command center role. There is a need for different people to come and operate and make sure that the application is live. And we call application tone just like a dial tone. To make that app tone happen in, in this modern IT command center, the teams probably need to collaborate with a lot of external uh, vendors in addition to internal IT teams. So there is a need for compliance driven um, and policy driven access to various components of this application. And, and they could be time bound where, you know, I wanted a service provider to come only between Friday night, nine o'clock and, and 12 o'clock. And, and, and the service provider cannot come before Friday night, nine o'clock and cannot come after 12 o'clock. How do I control the access to external providers to come and operate in those windows to do the maintenance that needs to be done as part of my command center. And whatever they did is all compliance driven so that I can go back and get um, SOX compliance, PCI compliance that the enterprise IT needs to do. So the command center should be able to do those kinds of things in a compliance driven mechanism to make external service providers system integrators to come and operate on the environment and, and, and control what they did during those intervals. That's what we call uh, compliance driven remote troubleshooting and remote the ability to manage the infrastructure. 